Hey guys, so I'm just editing this video now and I realized while I was editing it that the piece of the video where I talk about the Canon M50 and how to fix the hot shoe almost works as a complete video by itself. But I was doing a daily vlog and I wanted to still include all of the footage that I had kind of before I started to work on the camera. So if you're just here for the fix on the camera, skip to the time code that's on the screen here now and I'll leave a little link to it in the description below and for everybody else, enjoy the video. So today, Elaine and I have been upstairs and we've been clearing out a unit in our bedroom because we're just noticing that the house is getting a little bit more cluttered. So Elaine had the idea that we should clear some stuff out. So that's what we've been doing this morning, but it's lunchtime now and we're hungry. So we're going to make some lunch. And for lunch today, we're having a vegetarian fry. Lunch was really tasty and very yummy. But now we're coming back upstairs to finish off doing the tidying. Frank, come on. Yeah. Buddy, come on up. Come on. Up you pup. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come, come on. on, you can do it. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Frank, up. Frank. Come on. Come on, buddy. Up. See, part of the problem is if you look out there, the baby gate can only open out. So if we could get the baby <laughs> gate. Oh. Okay, ignore it. Right. So getting Frank up in the bed there was an epic failure. We have this unit here that we had in our old apartment and we've been using it right here pretty much since we moved into the house. But it means that we can't open the door fully, which means that the baby gate can only open that way. So we've cleared it out and we're going to take this out of the room so that we have this space back. So we've done the majority of the clear out that we're doing today. The only thing left to do now is find somewhere in the shed for this thing. So Elaine is going to come and help me with that because she just has a much more organized brain than I do. That was easier than I thought it was going to be. In the end, we decided to put the shelves up uh, where we keep Frank's food and we just keep Frank's food on top of it. So shelves, food. Shelves, food. Perfect. We're finished kind of clearing stuff out and going through all the things that we want to throw out or donate or all that kind of stuff that we were doing earlier. And we're kind of just getting ready to think about dinner. But in the meantime, I don't know if you can hear this, but... So that rattle is coming from the microphone. And I noticed it in my last couple of videos. Oh, it's, everything's perfect. Bag is silent. Bag feels perfectly comfortable and I will show you guys what it looks like now. Just... In the first few videos I thought, oh maybe I didn't have this like tied on properly or sometimes if this cable isn't tucked in here, this wobbles more and it makes noise. So I thought maybe it was that and then in my last video I noticed it again. So I've been looking at the camera and actually what I discovered is if I take the microphone off. It's actually this, it's the hot shoe mount. So it's, so it's this here that's actually rattling and I can feel it that it's loose, which was a little bit worrying. So I didn't know what the problem was exactly, or what I did, it's, it's loose, that's the problem. But I didn't know whether it was a big deal or whether it was really common or how difficult it is to fix. So obviously the first thing I did was I searched for it on Google. And apparently it's a really common thing that happens with Canon hot shoes. And apparently it's a really easy fix. There's a couple of little screws under here that come loose. And that's why this is getting loose. Which means it's making noise when the microphone is on here. So I'm going to go and basically see can I fix it. Now the only thing I'm a little bit concerned about is... You need a really small screwdriver to do this. 
and I don't have a really small screwdriver. I think the smallest screwdriver I have is in the Swiss Army card. And it's like this lad here. So I'm hoping that that will be small enough to take the screws out. So there's a little thing in here that you need to work out. It says not to scratch any of these metal points because they're actually part of the hot shoe for if you're putting a, a flash on the camera, which I've never done. But you know, I like the option of being able to do it. It's really not that smartest thing I've ever done now. So this thing that's meant to be really easy to get off is kind of proving a little troublesome. Maybe there's a knack to it. I just don't know what it is. It's supposed to be just a cover. It's kind of coming loose for me now a little bit. That's not clever around it because that's the blade. Words the wise, if you're using a knife for this, keep your fingers back from the blade. So after a minor injury, I managed to get this out of the camera. So this is what it's like now. My memory card filled up while I was doing it, so I didn't actually realize until I'd actually gotten this off that my camera wasn't recording anymore, so that's annoying. You can see the four screws here, and I should be able to just, like, you can see how loose this is. That tiny screw there has already fallen out of the camera, so that's come loose, and the other three are just not holding it in either. So this thing that I was hoping would work as a screwdriver, and it is a screwdriver, is too big. The Swiss Army knife that comes in my little Swiss Army card here actually will turn the screws. So the reason this is so difficult to get out is this is actually glued to the top of the hot shoe. A bit of glue on the screws wouldn't have gone amiss. And that's actually exactly what I'm going to do now. So I've got some super glue here. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a tiny little bit of super glue on the end of the screw. Not even on the whole screw, just on the very bottom of it. And then I'm going to screw it back in. I'm going to do them one at a time to make this easier for myself. This is where it gets tricky now. Actually putting the screw back in with the super glue on it is gonna be challenging. I've screwed the four screws back in. They're also all glued in now. This thing seems so much uh, tighter and it doesn't feel like it's got any rattle or anything in it now. So now I just need to put this bit back in. Okay, so that all looks good. Moment of truth time. Much better. So that's it. That's the rattle completely eliminated from this camera. The only kind of, well, there's a couple of tricky bits. The first tricky bit was getting the cover off the hot shoe. Second tricky bit was actually getting the two screws, actually this screw here on like, towards the back of the camera on the right hand side was really tricky. And when I put it in, it didn't go into the hole and it touched off one of the contacts with the super glue, but I managed to get it all off. So I think it's fine. I never used the hot shoe for a flash. So even if it's not, don't think it'll be a big deal, but I, I don't want to lose any of the functionality that my camera has. So yeah, I'm hoping that it's fine, but yeah, I'm not too worried if it's not. I'm really happy with that. And I suppose it's time to put this camera back on the tripod and give it a whirl and see how it works. And I'm back on the big camera now. And just to, first of all, take it up and that all seems pretty silent. I don't notice any rattle here. And I could notice the rattle when I was walking around once I kind of became aware of it. So that's already a really good sign, I think. Hopefully that is my camera fixed and I can forget about this problem now for the rest of the time I have this camera. Little bit of super glue inside the screws like that probably won't come loose again. And if it does, at least now I know how to fix it. We've had dinner and as you saw, we had pizza for dinner. So we originally had plans to cook tonight, but we went out for a little walk earlier on and when we, when we were on the walk, we decided that we didn't really fancy cooking and that we wanted to get takeaway instead. So we got ourselves pizza and it was delicious. Also, Frank is just pacing around the house because when we first came in here, there was a cat in the front garden and he was looking out the window at us. Now, you weren't really like going mad like you would expect a dog to do, but he was certainly showing a little bit of interest. 
Good boy. Now he's just chilling on the couch. Like so. Because he's a big lazy greyhound. Anyway, I'm going to leave this video here. I hope you liked it. If you do, please give it a big thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel. And I will see you guys again tomorrow.